Hello, my lovely hummingbirds. How's it going, everyone? On today's episode of Makeup and Motivation here on Pop Culture with I, your lovely host, Monroe, we are going to be doing look numero dos for the sibling series. And today's topic of conversation is the peace keeper sibling, the often forgotten child sibling. What does that mean? <laughs> well, that's what we're going to explore. But for today, we are going for a very bright, sun-filled look. It reminds us of the golden rays of sunshine. Uh, this is natural lighting, actually. Uh, <laughs> that we got going on right now. But we're going to get started with that look. And yeah, let's get started, shall we? All right, to kick off this makeup look, we are gonna go in with the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. And we are gonna start with that beautiful tangerine orange we got going on there. And you're gonna pack that from the outer corner of your eyelid inward and really just pack that in so that it's bright and very poppy. And now once you've applied that to both eyelids, we're gonna go in there with that gorgeous warm deep chocolate brown we got. And we're gonna apply that to the crease and slightly above the upper brow bone area to really give this look some depth and warmness. Now, as I had stated, the Peacekeeper is very bright as well as warm, so we're going to go in there with that pink rose gold to really give it a sunset sunrise look, and you're going to add that to part of your lid and on the inner corner and fan it out. Once that's done, we're going to go in with the So Jaded ColourPop palette in the shade Peridot. And that is going to go right on the inner highlight area. That way, you know, you're going to fan it a little bit. Just give it an extra glimmer of sunshine. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, we're going to go in with pearl on the upper brow bone area. Because you are a gem, you are a pearl, you shine, you wave at the white flag of not surrender but definitely peace since this is the peacekeeper look now once that's done i'm gonna go ahead blend and put on the rest of my face and in the meantime you can follow me on all of my handles and there she is. It's giving bright. It's giving bubblegum. It's giving sunshine. It's giving... Oh my god, can we all just get along? It's giving... Hey, do you want to go grab some food because I'm tired? And this fight was stupid. <laughs> anyway, my lovely hummingbirds, if this is where you're leaving me, as always, les mando mucha paz, muchos besos, y les recuerdo que miren hacia la luna, sending you much peace, money kisses and reminding you to always look up at the moon but if you are sticking around for the rest of this episode please join me for today's topic of conversation where we discuss the peacekeeper and this is the look what do we think do we love it do we hate it how do we feel about it now why the pink pouts <laughs> with the bright orange one it is spring and i'm just in the mood but also peacekeeper child is in between the pious daughter and the black sheep you'll see the makeup for the black sheep afterwards but the peacekeeper is very much so that like bubble of joy and light and really just trying to bring a uh, positive outlook often to shitty situations they are the 
the one that is most often to come out of like the other room and be like, hey, who wants to go get some food <laughs> to essentially diffuse the situation. Now, the peacekeeper and the reason that I said often forgotten child is because not that they're forgotten as far as like being provided for by like the parent unit, that's not always the case, but more so forgotten in the sense of like, the pious child is always at the forefront of the parent unit's mind, memory, thoughts, because they're like, oh my God, this is like my perfect little baby that does everything right. And then the black sheep is like, this fucking idiot is probably doing something he shouldn't be doing. And the peacekeeper slash middle, they give middle sibling vibes, quite honestly. Uh, they're the ones that are like, you know, off in their own world, doing their own thing. They, however, have aspects of both. So they often want to be... How can I say this? They often want their relationships to resemble the family unit so they are the ones that like will more easily not just make friends but also make their friends their family and like the center of everything that they are they will want to emulate the parent unit relationship whether it is because of the dynamic of it or the length of time they've been together or things like that but they have also had their touch of chaos <laughs> as much as the rebel child or the black sheep has. They are a different kind of rebel though. They often outgrow the rebelliousness, settle down, develop a relationship much in like similar to the pious child because that's like their older sibling oftentimes or the sibling that they most often look up to for like family dynamic reasons. However, they do tend to linger back and forth between like uh, the good old days. Eventually, it does wear off. They grow up. They're like, damn, I did some dumb shit. Hmm, maybe I should distance myself from certain people, things like that. You know, all in due time. But the reason that they are the peacekeeper is because not only are they oftentimes like the peacekeeper friend in their friend group, they are also oftentimes a peacekeeper between their siblings and parents. Which is not an easy space to be in. Now, what is a peacekeeper in general? Well, this is the official definition. <laughs> and they serve as the peacekeeper, as I said, you know, stopping fights between their siblings and their parents or siblings and siblings. They're the ones that have this sensation of like, can't we all just get along? They can either be very, very social or very like, everyone leave me the fuck alone right now because I can't stand any of you. Depending on the mood, depending on like outer circumstances, how things are going for them, all that good shit. Now, they are very intelligent okay very calculating so a peacekeeper never really does anything as like an afterthought they are the ones that have the most serendipitous moments though like they're the ones that like will walk down the street and find a 50 dollars bill for fucking no reason they'll be the ones that like a stranger will be like hey here's like some free ice cream over there if you want to go get some type of shit like they're very lucky in that regard so like things will just seem to happen more easily for them but when it comes to like their interactions with people with money careers things like that they are very calculating they are very book smart they are also very street smart they're often the ones that love conspiracies which is why like the <laughs> The black sheep and the peacekeeper will get along more on like reckless and rebellious behaviors. However, they can have very golden retriever vibes, uh, which is why I went for all the golden. 
they can go from zero to a hundred though really fucking easily like everything can be well and put together and perfect one day and then gone to shit the next but then you blink and you're like wow you just like hyper clean the entire place in 20 minutes what the hell happened to that ball of chaos you just had going on they're like what are you talking about there wasn't a ball of chaos i didn't do that <laughs> however while they can emulate both aspects of the pious and the rebel they hate hate the hyper extremes of both parties again like i said very much so like why can't we all just get along very like stoner vibes but not stoner vibes in the same way that like the black sheep does stoner vibes stoner vibes in the way of like i just need to chill out right now because this is too much that's their energy as a whole think like they constantly operate on a smooth jazz frequency <laughs> like i don't know how else to explain it but that the colors that remind me of the Peacekeeper sibling is orange, mustard, earth tones, greens, very warm, neutral, Mother Earth kind of vibes, you know, very like... They are very go with the flow. They know that like everything always works out, but they have an understanding that like you got to put in a little work. They can be very naive at times, but it is not a naivety that comes from like them just being oblivious to shit. They're very aware, but they have this perceived naivety because they are very, not just glass half full, very like, we're just going to leave that alone for now and it'll solve itself out type of naive, which can lead them to ending up in some pretty chaotic situations because of the lack of confrontation. Now, oftentimes the lack of confrontation does not come because they are afraid or fearful, but because they are very self-aware and they know they would go zero to a hundred and they don't want to do that. So honestly, it's the best in everyone's interest if we don't fuck with the peacekeepers because they got so much pent-up shit from years of playing switzerland at home that they're just like who's gonna try me today <laughs> for my peacekeepers out there for those that are the middle sibling for those that are the middleman when it comes to communication between other siblings between parents between often even probably friends uh you can even grow up to become the middle person when it comes to like your kids and your spouse first off as the black shape of my family <laughs> thank you Oftentimes, you as the peacekeeper had to double down as second parent. You had to double down as the person that was like forced to carry your siblings with you everywhere because mom and dad couldn't. You are often the one that while you lived your life, it was always in the sense of like, keeping everybody else happy and while you may have done things here and there sometimes often trivial or even energy taxing to you in the hopes of achieving some type of fun and joy and experience it wasn't always everything that you wanted it to be nor was it always everything that you expected it to be you in your own way want more out of life and you see the warmth in everything you see the shit in everything too you just don't let it influence your actions as much and you are the sunshine of this world if i'm completely honest with you and i promise you that your siblings even though they have their own chaotic ways of being present are truly grateful for you truly love you and for the black sheep if it wasn't for you they might not be here right now 
wholeheartedly. You are loved, you are cherished, and you, my love, are able to hold space and take up space and glitter and light up every fucking room and you should not diminish yourself or your strengths or your knowledge or your shine to keep other people happy because you deserve to shine too. I know you often feel forgotten and left out, especially like when it comes to like family shit, like you're the one that feels most like to some degree you were abandoned, not in the sense of like, I really hope not that like your parents abandoned you or anything like that, but more in the sense of like you feel left out of plans and things like that. Like they always seem to be doing something with everybody else and you're kind of just there. It's okay to take up space. It's okay to make a call to say, hey, what are we doing today? Hey, let's do this. I know sometimes the world can seem very exhausting and so tiring and so hectic because you're just like, fuck, what do I do now? It will be okay. And it will get better. And you have all the strength and energy within you to thrive and prosper in everything that you want to achieve. And never forget that like, well, I can't say never forget, you know this better than anyone. Family is what we make of it. So stop allowing people that don't reciprocate your energy in the way that you want it to, to take up space in your life, regardless of the amount of time or experiences you've had with them. You can continue to grow and develop and do everything that you set your mind to. To the siblings, of my lovely peacekeepers, myself included. <laughs> Show them a little bit more. Ask how you can fill their cup. Give to them as much as they've given to you across the years. Give to them as much as they need and more. Stop being some cold, heartless bitches. <laughs> <laughs> respectfully they don't operate that way sure they might have when they were running chaos because they knew that if like they put their heart on their fucking sleeve it would just get shattered that was a calculated move that wasn't like you running around creating chaos to my black shoes specifically they're not that heartless and you know that be gentle be loving they might come off with this I don't give a fuck attitude but really they just want a hug they just want to feel embraced. They want to feel love. And to my pious children out there, take a fucking joke. They joke around because that's the way that they cope with their chaos, but not in a mean way, not mean spirited, okay? Be wary of your harshness, my loves, with the peacekeeper. They're a soft little baby at the center of it all. You are too, but you're just a little more colder than they are. Oh my God, they're Anna, you're Elsa. Actually, you're Anna and Elsa and they're Olaf. <laughs> so be kind, be gentle, be loving because they would melt away for you if they could. Okay. Now, that's it for my peacekeepers. I love you so much. I hope everything is beautiful. We are going to do a tarot reading like we did last time. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to get started with that because, yeah, I think you just, you know, you need a little extra advice, a little calm to get you going through the day. And, uh, yeah, let's get started with the reading. Also, I totally forgot to mention, uh, today's episode is in congruence with the pop culture episode that is up now. If you are so inclined to listen to it, uh, click the link in the description. My bad. Went the whole thing without ever saying that. <laughs> but, yeah, so today, my lovely hummingbirds, which we shall be using. It doesn't want to come out. 
my Disney night when they come out. Thank you. We are using the Everyday Tarot deck. Exciting. We're going to get some messages, some clarifiers, some advice for you, my lovely, lovely hummingbirds. Uh, and we're also going to use some affirmation cards. I, yeah, uh, this one, this is a gorgeous deck right here, which matches my tapestry. Kept just looking at me the whole time. She was like, you're going to use me. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to use you. Damn, they're going through it, huh? And she was like, yeah. They are. They need some advice. They need some extra loving. They need some DLC, baby. And I'm going to do my very fucking best to get some advice going for y'all of what it is that you need. I just realized I don't have any incense going. And I don't appreciate that. Uh, so give me a sec while I, what's here? Justice. Whatever complicated situation it is that you think you are going to experience, it's going to be okay. The, you'll be fine. Nothing bad is going to come of that situation. You're going to receive justice in this situation. But right now, let me get some incense. Let me get some water. And we're going to get started because, geez, just like, it's like the good old peacekeeper doing everything in waves. Give me one sec. All right. Much better. Got the incense going, we got the candle lit, we got my water for my hydration. Oh, for hydration purposes. We got some bonus cards popping out. What's happening here? Justice really just wants to shine on through. So you have Justice and the Page of Pentacles coming out first. I got you're really concerned about your finances right now. Okay, we're not doing that. We're gonna do one at a time because, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Mm. So, we have a few cards here. So this is your reading. We basically have where you're at and where you're headed. So with the Eight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, you've been kind of very, not kind of, even very in your head over past situations, past issues, past moments where you were like, give, 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 give. And you have been in this contemplation of like, damn, did I fuck up? Did I give away all my bounty to people, places, and things that did not deserve it? Did I do this? You're like contemplating about shit that you did, especially when you were younger. So the fact that they're both facing the same way and then like, this it's you're feeling very like you trapped yourself in a situation the good thing though about the eight of swords essentially is that the restraints aren't actually binding you it's all in your head what you need to do right now especially is look at it from a different perspective especially because the things that have passed my love there is no return to them there is no going back to it there's no fixing it then you can only take the knowledge that you know now of that situation and move forward and learn that like maybe instead of you being over generous and over giving all the fucking time it's time you aprietas un poquito las manos when it comes to career and finances and like not hustle You've been over hustling. You need to find something that's a, a little more aligned with who you are as a person. And the more passion you put behind it, like I know that a lot of people, you know, can do the whole a job is just a job thing. But for you, I feel like that's not the case for you. I feel like your heart really has to be in it because if your heart's not in it, you get this sensation of being burnt out because you are the first to be like, okay, you know what? Like, this is my responsibility. I got to go. I got to get shit done. I got to do what needs to get done, blah, 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 blah. But if you're constantly put in a place where like, it's not fruitful for you, you start to like shut down. You start to lose yourself. You start to being in your head all the fucking time. And that's not healthy either. 
because while the Six of Pentacles is usually a really good card here, yes, you did overextend yourself. Yes, you did give a lot to people that did not reciprocate but you're not in that situation anymore. So don't let that, don't let past hurts impede you from moving forward. Also, allergy season's about to start hitting, so I'm gonna need you to do everything not to get sick. Rest is very important. Now with the Page of Wands and Four of Cups in the reverse. You feel stuck, you feel stagnated, you are a free spirit and you feel like you are being choked down by the universe right now. You are feeling like your duties and your desires are very, very different and like they're on two ends of the fucking spectrum. It's like, it's like you being in between your siblings. You're just like, oh my God, you're like, everything is order and you're, everything is chaos. I don't want that. I just, I just want it to flow but you feel like, what does that even mean anymore? Heavy, heavy contemplation. Eight of Wands in reverse and Knight of Wands upright. You gotta let it happen. You gotta let it happen. You gotta go with the flow. If you're looking to make a change in career and business and all that, definitely do your research. Look at what it is that you want to really do. The job market is kind of trash right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. But you do have the power to achieve everything that you want to but it's not going to be easy because you have the chariot two of pentacles and the queen of swords i'm tired for you <laughs> you are literally juggling everything under the fucking sky literally everything you need to stop you are on a one road leading straight to burnout <laughs> that is not good you need to take a fucking nap stop over caffeinating trust me as someone that over caffeinates it's never really worth it take a nap refresh yourself recover recharge take a fucking break take a moment for yourself to do something that you love sit down and like i don't know Go watch a movie, go do some dancing, go paint, do puzzles, do whatever it is that makes you happy. Allow yourself to be in that, but in your own energy. Because you being in that and bringing like Fulano y Sutano and over here and somebody's brother and sister and mama and baby and cousin and all this shit is not helping you. I know you can be a very big little social butterfly. Dude, my throat is hurting right now. Shit. I know you can be a little social butterfly. But majority of the time when we feel lost, we need to take a moment to pause, time out on everything, chill out, and really focus on what it is that makes us happy, not for the benefit of anybody else, but strictly for ourselves. Overall, where you're headed is the Page of Pentacles and Justice. Like everything is going to be fine in this situation. Whatever it is that you're looking to make the change to will be successful, but stop doing this thing where you take on too much you you mo so much more than you can handle that you have no choice but to shut yourself out and down because you're like i just gotta keep going with the chariot here you're like i just gotta keep going i just gotta keep doing what's right i just have to keep because if i don't then everything implodes and everything depends on me and while it might depend on you if you implode from burnout it's not gonna matter at the end of the day because guess who's still not gonna be able to do shit then? You. As someone that did fucking burn out last year, mine was more health issue shit, but it is not worth it. That project will be there tomorrow. That case will be there tomorrow. That study will be there tomorrow. 
whatever it is, whatever problem, whatever issue, it's not going to go away if you pull an all-nighter, take fucking six shots of espresso over ice and just power through it and not eat and not sleep and not exercise and not eat properly and not do the things that you need to do to fucking fucking if that's what you need to do. If you don't take care of yourself like you do everybody else, it's not going to matter. You need to give yourself the love you keep trying to receive from everyone around you. The love will come. You are abundant in love. You always have been. But it's time to take that scope and that lens and you over here with the fucking binoculars looking at everywhere and like, what's the problem that I can fix? Flip that shit and look at yourself, baby. Because right now, that's what you need to do. You need to take a good hard look at yourself. And not just your shortcomings, but look at like what you're fucking good at. Look at what your strengths are, what your abilities are, where you thrive. And if you see it and it's possible, because I know it's not possible for everyone to just be out here making moves like that. Responsibilities exist, families, you know, things like that, obligations, right? Those are still very real and very prevalent. But if you don't start doing little things here and there to build you up and keep moving forward in your life, then what life are you living? Whose life are you living? When's the last time you smiled? And I mean for real. Like, baby, look at me. When's the last time you smiled for real? Not a bullshit smile to appease everyone so no one knows that I'm not okay. And everything's okay though and it's gonna be okay because they see me and I'm smiling and, and you know, I might not know right now but I will then. I don't mean like chaos smile to suppress your emotions, not let everybody know how the fuck you're feeling. I mean genuinely smiled because you felt it in your soul, in your heart, in your spirit. Also, stop using extracurriculars. Stop drinking and smoking and fucking people you shouldn't be fucking around with. And stop drinking excessively. You will not find the answers at the bottom of the bottle. The end of the blunt at the end of the cigarette. At the end of you busting a nut into somebody you're not supposed to be fucking around with in the first place. I don't want to say things to you harshly because you, my lovely prince, my lovely princess, you, my lovely, my lovely, lovely royalty, you are not a hard ass bitch. I love you. You're not. And I hate saying things aggressively to all my little golden retrievers out there because you're my soft babies. It's okay to stop and just be you. It's okay to take down the mask. It's okay to have that moment of just pure breakdown vulnerability where you're fucking crying and confiding in the person that you love the most and trust the most and being like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, I need help. It's not your, it's not your world to save. You are not Superman, baby. It is, you are not Superman, you are not Spider-Man, you are not a hero, okay? It is not your job to save everyone. Hell, it's really not your job to save anyone, unless, you know, like, I mean, Unless that's actually your job and you're like in some type of field where that's a thing. But you can't save everyone. One of like, ooh, oh my god, I'm going to start crying. I don't know if I want to go for the caffeine or the water. <laughs> that's probably something you do. 
<laughs> you're like damn do i want to caffeinate or do i want to hydrate right now hydration is always key but we're talking about you and your issues right now not me okay <laughs> so i'm caffeinating because i am the queen of espresso depresso anyway <laughs> One of the harshest. About to get real personal. One of the harshest lessons I ever had to learn was that sometimes God answers no. And that sometimes is a lot more often than we would like. Sometimes the answer is no. Oftentimes it could be a not right now. <laughs> mm, think again. But sometimes it's no. And the no's hurt real bad. But it's part of life. You can't sit here running yourself ragged to keep everybody else happy whether they're family or not mind you <laughs> they're related to you or not i'm getting a parent for some of you for some of you it's your mom for some of you it's your dad like i get it as as kids like right we never want to disappoint our parents especially if you're like first generation or like a uh, parent of an immigrant kid or like parents lost everything to like have this family with you and all this stuff but look you don't owe anybody a damn fucking thing not me not your parents not the world not even fucking i don't know the baddie that you hit up last tuesday and then ghosted like that was really specific. <laughs> I don't know what that was for. But you do owe yourself the ability to do and be more and want more and be better and do better. You owe yourself growth. You owe yourself grace. You owe yourself understanding and passion and joy and you deserve to fucking smile and i mean genuinely i don't mean like toxic little maniacal laugh when you did something you know you weren't supposed to and it still panned out the way <laughs> you wanted it to that's not what i'm talking about i mean a belly laugh an ugly laugh a laugh where it seems like time stands still when you're around this person this may be pertaining to a love situation i don't know i'm just channeling now <laughs> but my lovely peacekeeper you deserve peace genuine peace you deserve to be happy you deserve to smile you deserve good things I, I, I don't know, I just heard the Abraham Hicks audio in my head because my life is supposed to go well. Yes, your life is supposed to go well and you do deserve good things. And I'm sorry if anyone ever made you believe that you are nothing more, that was oddly specific, that you are nothing more than a dollar sign or where the comma lies or where the decimal point is i i don't know very very money some of y'all might have been used financially and i'm so sorry that that happened you are more than what you can provide but i need you to pour back into yourself I need you to love on you. I need you to really take a look and be like, okay, this isn't making me happy. So what can I do differently? Okay. We're going to do some affirmations. This is the Mindful Collective Daily Affirmations cards. I absolutely fucking love it. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. 
uh, nothing in life is an absolute. Life is ever changing, ever flowing. You are the king, the queen, the sovereign, the royalty of going with the fucking flow. So let it flow. Or you might want to be. But you're like, no, everything has to go this specific way. It's not life, babe. It doesn't always go the way we want it to. It does go the way we need it to. So I need you to allow. And allow yourself to love. Allow yourself to love. I don't know who, who needs some loving, but allow yourself to love. Genuinely, no, no more toxic shit. Okay, no more toxic people. Okay, we, we're not doing that 2023. No toxic bullshit, no toxic people. No getting with any... Cut the patterns. <laughs> I didn't want it to land on the floor. So yes, I had to be overly dramatic to stop that from happening. <laughs> I love uh, that I do it like this because that means I read the cards <laughs> before you get to see what they are. <laughs> and then you're sitting there in suspense like, bitch, just tell me what they say. <laughs> okay. Can we get two more? Thank you. Thank you, spirit. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, the proverbial, it is what it is. <laughs> you need to get back on that shit. But not in a toxic, it is what it is, I don't give a fuck about you, bitch, type of thing. No, I'm gonna need you to start holding some accountability. Some confrontation is often good, especially when we're putting our foot down and setting some boundaries on what it is that we want in life. Now, your overall message is what has been, has been. What will be, will be. It's cutting in the middle. Why is it cutting in the middle? I am always provided for. The universe is always providing for you, babe. Don't even worry, okay? All that shit's gonna be handled. I am the guardian of my happiness. Allow yourself to be. Allow yourself to be happy. Allow yourself to be free. Allow yourself to experience love genuinely. <laughs> I rhymed. I release control of my plans to make way for my destiny. Ooh. Not y'all fighting the Lord's good work out in these streets. <laughs> you know, having a destiny can seem very like, oh, what is this? And very intimidating and very chaos and very out of our control. It is out of our control, sadly. But are we going to make the route to our destiny smooth and awesome and do what the fuck we're supposed to, even if it gets tough, just keep on keep on doing what we're supposed to? Or are we going to make it difficult, fall flat ass backwards and be like, damn, you can't tell me what to do. And then keep falling backwards until we learn the fucking lesson. If you learned the lesson, stop repeating the lesson. Stop going back to where you learned the lesson. <laughs> All of my emotions are a part of my human experience. Stop with the bullshit happiness. Stop with the fake masks of, I'm fine, everything is dandy. When you're feeling like shit, it's okay to allow yourself to feel the hard emotions too. For some of you, the hard emotions might be the acknowledgement that you deserve better and you deserve reciprocity in life. You, Why did I just picture two people 69ing? Okay. <laughs> Y'all want somebody real bad. Go get them. It That doesn't apply for everybody. Okay. <laughs> I don't want nobody going over there and be like, Monroe said, I can leave you for somebody else. Goodbye. <laughs> don't, don't throw me in the middle of your shit. That book. It is safe for me to rest. What did I fucking say? Take a nap, bitch. I love you. Stop over caffeinating. Stop like just being a little chaos bubble. Like you hate chaos. So stop thriving in it. That's not your job. 
If you are a golden retriever, that's for your future black cat girlfriend to do, not you. <laughs> I am more than enough. Yes, you are. Okay, you are more than enough. You are worthy just as you are. And if one of those masks that you need to drop is the persona that you have created to exist in the world that you currently exist in, surrounded by people that don't actually fucking know you or give a shit about you, this is very specific, y'all good? It's okay. Yeah, it's everything's gonna be like, what the fuck? Where did this come from? For a little bit. But at the end, you're gonna be so happy. It's worth it, okay? I honor the divine energy that is money. To deal with your money issues, baby. Get out of lack mindset. Not every time that you put your money into something is it going to be a waste of time, energy, efforts, and finances. Be very wary of where you are, including yourself monetarily. And not just money, but where are you investing your time? Because that might also be what is leading you down a lack mindset road. Anywho, that is it from me for today, my lovely, lovely hummingbirds, my lovely peacekeepers, my lovely middle child, my lovely golden retrievers, my sunshines out there. I love you. It's okay. It's okay to just be you. It's okay to go against the fucking grain sometimes, especially if like the reason you're in this situation was simply to survive because everybody else was doing it and then here you are and you're like, fuck, I don't wanna do this anymore. You can stop. Life is literally what we choose to make of it. It is a series of choices of our reactions to outer things in our lives, out of our lives. It is what we choose to do to keep on living and loving and enjoying. I love you so, so much, okay? And yeah, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> As always, les mando mucha paz, muchas besos y les recuerdo que miren hacia la luna sending you much peace many kisses and reminding you to always look up at the moon it's all gonna be okay you're gonna be okay it's all going to be fine as long as you choose a life where your joy and bliss are sublime and ever present okay you were not made to live a passionless life. You need passion, you need love, you need some good sex, you need out of here. Why are y'all feeling horny right now? Anyway. Y'all are the reason this reading's an 18 plus. Um. <laughs> anyway, my lovely hummingbirds, I love you so much. Please take care of yourselves. It's gonna be okay. You deserve happiness. Don't ever forget that, okay? And you need to allow yourself that happiness and give yourself that happiness. That's it for you today, my lovely, lovely hummingbirds. I love you all so much. I will catch y'all on the next one. Uh, follow me on all my handles, all that good shit. Okay, that's it. I love you. Bye.